also I've made a commitment this year, guys, to start stretching a ton more because I have bad back problems along with brain problems and all that stuff. Just an overall commitment to uh, health in general. When you're standing up on trail monitor all day, it sucks. Makes your back hurt. So I've been doing that. Just want to let any of y'all know that are having bad back problems. That stuff right there really works. You also might be wondering why I'm wearing these goofy glasses. If you guys watch all the videos, you know. If you don't, go ahead and subscribe right here. Hit the ding dogs. Just block out blue light. Helps me when I'm driving in low light. I wear them when I'm editing, looking at TV, computer, stuff like that. Just prevents me from having headaches and all that great stuff. So anyway, these aren't my sight fishing glasses. That you guys were thinking that. Right now I'm waiting on Rob and his uh, new camera guy Steve to get over here. We're at the Bucky's and they are at Chick-fil-A. Gotta start the morning off right with some Chick-fil-A protein in the belly and we're gonna be hitting up a lake that I actually really suck at. I fished it two times. I fished one tournament blind there, did terrible. Another time didn't do anything. Could do terrible today. Don't want to start off on a negative note, but this lake is just, I know it's tough. It has huge fish in it. I'll get into it here in a little bit when Rob gets here, but it's got a potential for big bass. We got to figure it out. I'm moving back up here around this area. It's close. We got to get this thing locked in. Now, where is Rob with that delicious Chick-fil-A? There he is. Never fear anything when you got Chick-fil-A. Hey. Oh! Yeah. RT's rod almost knocked it over. Thank you so much. Yep. Chick-fil-A, hit us up, 1-800-SPONSOR-US. If not, that's okay. Probably still gonna eat your food. Oh, oh boy, that is a noggin knocker right there. Wow. Whoa! <laughs> wow! That was a tough one. You must only be on your first cup of coffee. I haven't even drank anything. <laughs> oh, that's the problem. Rub that one now, <laughs> boy. That hurt. Boy, Steve, did you capture that greatness? I captured that one. All right. Great way to start off the day. I know you guys probably didn't catch that. Go wow. check out his channel for an awesome noggin knocker. Love it. It was stupid. Why did I do that? I don't know. Why would I jump into the truck? I mean, I'll give her a full send right here. We out here. So me and Rob actually did. We did a little late night uh, map studying together last night. We had a little map study uh, phone date. Something something you do as old men when you get older, you start just looking at maps and talking about them. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not the only thing we have random talks about, but phone maps. Something. To topographic moments. <laughs> we're trying to figure this thing out here. We're way up in a creek. There's so many options. We have no idea what's good. This is exploration day, so we're trying to think. Are these little creek arms going to be good for spawners, post spawners, waters 69? Kind of warm, but we're going to just going to be exploring all this stuff. There's the whole lake and we are way up here. We'll start out on a little rip rap action. See what's going on there and then uh, it's just going to be exploration. Hopefully we can find something, get something going. Come on, white bass. Where you at? The key thing that we got to figure out cuz this is brand new is like the depth of where well, right now we're fish are gonna hold. Water. A lot of water back here for being way up in a creek. Dude, okay, Okay. so there's a there's pocket right here we need to test. Looking. Looking at pond dams, we're looking at points. We've got bunches of trees. Where's the bait? What I'm... mode are these fish in? So we're on top of this thing right now. Fish? <sighs> Stuck on something. Funny. Giving it a go. It's coming up right now. It's lumpy yet crunchy all at the same time. Have we given it a good investigation? Yeah. Well, we're flipping these trees out here. You think we should get back on the bank and throw oh, out some buck brush a little bit? So much. Do you have a fish? Oh, I don't know. Yes, you do! Oh, get him, get him, get him! Got him! Crappie! <sighs> Only with you. <laughs> Only with you. <laughs> Gosh, dang, we're, hey. we're killing it out here. A little update for you guys. Me and Rob have been fishing around, trying to figure this place out for a few hours now. Not a whole lot of luck. He's had one bite, one crappie. I'm yet to have a bite at all, and I don't know how to run this place. You? No. <laughs> we're just trying to figure out how to run. I, I think we're about to send it on down the line here what I think is a roadbed 
probably a good reason why you think that. Looks pretty sketchy though, here on old Ray Bob. Yeah, I don't want to get too close to that. It's probably some metal stuff sticking out there. <laughs> oh, that's what they're running? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just go give it a uh, send. Okay, Rob's saying send it. Mm. If it goes and it's going to turn. I mean, you can see the lane. Look, it's easy. You got this. Famous last words. Hold my beer! <laughs> you good? <laughs> Woo! Get you going! Okay, I don't know what happens after this. Where's the pole? Oh my god, yeah. That was exciting. <laughs> wow. What a difference a few miles makes. Check teeth marks right now? Nope. You didn't do it. There ain't nothing there. Dude, I'm telling you, 100%. I had a fish. I come at him with this flick shake. I don't even know what's going on. Like, what's this guy doing? What's he all about? Let there be bass. In the wind. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Get that sucker in here. Yeah. There See, I is. told you I got that daggone bite on that flick shake. <laughs> I told you I got that daggone bite. You didn't believe me. Oh, look at this wind. This is glorious. What you want to do is throw something with, uh, <laughs> Six hooks on it. Right to a tree. Oh my god. There we go. Early release. Oh, Get on. on it. Get on it. Okay. Yeah. Good one? Nope. He's a lipless crankfish, isn't it? Oh, it doesn't I've even never, feel like a fish. I've never been caught. I've never caught anything big on lipless crank ever. I think it's fish, but it's just not. Oh my. Oh god. yeah. That's a fish. That's oh that. my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's up? What's up? You know how we do it. They call me the white bass king. It ain't a day unless I'm catching white bass. Can I get a patch that says like white bass master? I'm hitting the white bass tour. They cannot stay off my line. I might catch another one. Kind of enjoyed that. It's the first fish you catch, white yeah. bass. White bass. That's how I do it. It doesn't matter, white bass. What lake we go to, white bass. White bass county. <laughs> Oh yeah. Another one? Nope, that's a tree. <sighs> Apologize. Oh yeah. Every day, get the Crisco fired up for you. <laughs> she just called me Crisco. <laughs> that's it, no Captain no. Crisco. Captain Crisco. <laughs> Cause I'm frying every night. <laughs> I don't mind them. <laughs> Captain Crisco. <laughs> Better pull it down, this is good. This funny. is good sand bass water. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm reeling a lure through buckbrush, I'm fully expecting to get slapped by a white bass, you know? That's what I'm expecting. <laughs> we got a we got a sand bass, a crappie, and these hooks. Hell yeah. <laughs> I forgot what a bass bite feels like, so I was just pretending. I haven't stuck with one lure for more than a minute since we've been here. <laughs> It's normally the opposite way around. <laughs> Usually I'm just kind of sifting through yeah. days. And right now you have it stopped. You got one? That feels heavy. See that? Yeah. Oh yeah. What is it? I like how we both thought that was a fish. Me ducking. <laughs> oh, you ducking? Oh, I ducked at the right time. Oh, bass got it right oh, there. Lord, Get him in the boat. Yeah. You see how we do it? how we do it on the turries all over my camera. <laughs> Rob just <laughs> hollering at me about white bass. Look at that. Look Came at him with a different species. Oh, that tails. <laughs> Look at the backside of it. It's been dirtied. It's got a bloody bloodiness on it. <sighs> Smells sweet. I just, I had to do that. Felt like I was on the tour there for a minute. Does it look like it has rock on it? Oh, I found it. Look. Look, there's this tree line. Look, tree line. It's right here. It's literally off to the left. Where that one tree is? Whatever that bird has in his mouth is big. The one tree. I don't know. Could be oh, there he is. Yeah. You get him? Yeah. Hit me, hit me hard. The one tree out there. Yeah, but it's the only hump out here. I think it's something big. Is it a good I don't think it's a bass. No. It's a catfish. Oh my God. Hit me up with the other species. Hit oh me up. Oh, they call me Mr. Crisco. <laughs> Cause
Cause I'm catching all the other species in the lake, yeah. <laughs> Look at you, Mr. Goo Goo. Oh, I'm oh yeah, <laughs> wife's gonna be happy. Oh, that's right, that's right, talk to him. <laughs> Only me. <laughs> Let go. I found a wow. deep spot, you know. What's going on, what's going on right there? I think those are eggs. Ew. You just made I a just... direct connection with that. <laughs> Okay, well, so, so we got we got largemouth, we got a white crappie, we got a sand bass, and a catfish. Some goo on there. Cut that off. Windy, just getting wet. Caught about every species in the lake so far. Um, trying to go after bluegill next, just to hit the cycle. <laughs> One of them days. Trying to figure these fish out on a new lake. It's always an interesting adventure. We're looking at maps constantly. It's probably more map gandering than I've sure ever done. Maps. Rob's over there on satellite earth. Ponds, foundation, road beds, tree lines, things like that. Uh, but so far, most of the bites have been up shallow in the buck brush. <laughs> looking at all sorts of stuff. But it hasn't really panned out. So we're gonna send it to uh, another hole here. Are you ready? How are you liking the, the rain back there, Steve? It's about 100%, 127% chance of it right here coming across this cove. My apologies. Rob's pretty smart sitting up there. He knows the drill. <laughs> no one's sitting in the seat. <laughs> no one wants that seat right now. Is there just not a plethora of fish in here or what? I guess. Just not everywhere. Whoop! My bad. Watch those knuckles. <laughs> Tiny what little bit. Million? We we did not cover hardly any of the lake today. Uh, here on Ray, Ray Roberts, Ray Bob, as it's often called. Huge mega lake. It's got big bass in it. Rob caught some nice bass. I caught a lot of nice other species. We got to head back uh, to OSG. We got some. Uh, we got some big boy stuff we got to do. Some stuff kind of I haven't really talked to you guys about, but I will be revealing soon. Oh, it's in the truck. Hang on. You already took my plug out and everything. Everything is great. We got to go head back, do some stuff. Cutting this day short. Exploration day. I'll see you back over there at the house that we don't have. All right, those guys are taking off. And they're back. Check Steve's, to make sure Steve's I back. My phone. You need your phone, Steve. I lost it. So for those of you who don't know Steve, that is uh, Rob's new camera guy, in case you were confused. He's hired Steve so he can do some of the editing and the filming so Rob can spend more time with uh, his family, which I think is an awesome thing. So that's great. So you guys are probably going to see a little bit more of Steve over there in my videos and on Rob's videos. It is family time. We have to go see OSG. Sassy mood today. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Have you been sassy? I caught catfish today. You smell that? Okay. Mm. Yeah, we gotta go. Totally forgot. We gotta see your strawberry collection. You when we got seen back, my strawberry collection? they have not seen the strawberry collection. You guys, I'll gladly show you my strawberry. You guys collection. missed out on some great strawberry action. Beautiful organic strawberries to make <laughs> jams and pies and all sorts of great stuff. And they are delicious by themselves, but that is not why we're here right now. <laughs> You're the hunter on the gatherer, but anyways. That is true. She's out there gathering berries, literally. Uh, we have big big family stuff. So we have been home hunting, as you guys have, may have heard if you watch all the all the videos. If you don't, make sure to go ahead and subscribe and hit the ding dongs for all the notifications. But we are trying to get a home. We've been discombobulated uh, since Willis. I mean, we were gonna move even before, before Willis, Willis and started chopping around at homes. Then Willis happened. You guys kind of know what happened after that. Rough times. So it's like been a year that we've wanted to move. Yeah, it's been a year <laughs> since we wanted to move. We wanted to move and then have baby. Um, we're kind of doing everything all at once. So things have been kind of kind of hectic, stressful, but we did get some good news on getting kind of approved 
for a loop. Like 99% approved. It is such a process. The amount of minutia that goes on and the difficulty of being uh, an entrepreneur, content creator, um, and trying to secure a, a, a large loan for a home is ridiculous. You know, like the first home loan I got was just working at a regular nine to five job. It was so easy, it was just like that. And anyway, we've been through hell and back. Stephanie has been such a trooper. Um, handling a lot of this this stuff while I'm out working as well but there's some things that I just have to get involved in because it's my company and it's anyway you are the owner yeah so that's what we're going to do right now awkward for me to move these days <laughs> because of the belly <laughs> I get in I'm like <laughs> by the way I felt the first kicks that's last nice. night that was exciting we have paperwork in hand needed these documents the lenders let me just tell you guys what they do if you're gonna purchase a home or what they do is they ask you for information the first time and then they ask you for more information then they'll come around they'll ask for a little bit more information and then there's about three or four more information requests and it's everything except like a DNA sample a uh, in your firstborn child. Maybe. They might <laughs> Maybe. ask for that next. It's been a huge pain in the butt because I travel so much. You know, I've, I've kind of left Stephanie to do a lot of it because they'll ask for it like last minute. You'll say, am I good? I got everything. And they'll say, oh yeah, we're good, we're good. And then 8 o'clock on a Friday night, they're like, oh, by the way, we need these five yeah. different things. Ridiculous. <laughs> What's your stress level? Today is peaking on like... This year. <laughs> oh. This year, let's say, from the end of 2017 to now, I think we're reaching almost about a 10. It's pretty bad. It's almost that, actually, I will I will say I had a moment today that I wish you were kind of here for. It was one of those moments that you would have taken a photo of. <laughs> really? Because yes. you sitting at this... I'm not kidding. <laughs> you sitting at this desk right now, after this day, and this week, and this whole thing, reminds me of that photo where you're sitting after the crying. Oak and, <laughs> and like one and eye crying. is like protruding yeah. out. Yeah, for being up I have like forever. a vein going down my forehead. I still haven't seen these strawberries. Would you like to see my strawberries? I want to see them. We burn three of them. That deliciousness right there. This is like a tenth of what I have. Why did you get this many berries? When you go strawberry picking, it's like four hours away. You're gonna want to bring home about 34 pounds worth of strawberries. Oh my gosh. So we're making pies. We're making strawberry rhubarb pies. Making strawberry rhubarb jam. We're gonna do strawberry ice cream. Strawberry popsicles. Holy dang. Strawberry smoothies. We're gonna turn into strawberries. <laughs> we're gonna the turn the into strawberries. Hopefully this will. We can make a nice strawberry pie in a new house some somewhere. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna freeze the pie filling. And then when we move into our house, we're gonna celebrate with the strawberry pie. I love it. Well, this is what real strawberries are like, y'all. In case you never had real nice organic strawberries, they're like red all the way through, like a dark red, and they're so delicious and yummy. They're small. Look at that belly. Makes my belly happy. You've mm. moved into a belly. What belly band. Asleep? The belly band. It keeps going. My pants don't zip, so that's what we're dealing with right now. Pregnant ladies, y'all can relate. Watch Big bulldogs. Way. Y'all can relate. Mmm. So good. I love your bellies. They're very good, babe. Thanks. Gots to plug the boat in. Huh. Keep her charged. Today was brutally windy. I'm not gonna act like it was great, y'all. I mean, there's been a lot of barn burners, what we call barn burners lately. We're not on any kind of big pattern. The lake's not fishing that great or just one or the other were not on the the big groups of fish being up in this region now i'm having to relearn some of the lakes and then i'm also fishing lakes that i never went to i always heard about um, still trying to figure out these lakes i hope you guys enjoy watching uh, us go to new lakes for the first time and trying to figure it out because i have to ask myself the questions while i'm going out there like you know how many creeks are on this lake what's the water temperature what is this doing whereas like when i go to a lake where i know i'm going to catch them and uh, I'm literally just trying to maybe show you a technique or something that's a little bit different than trying to break down a body of water all together at the same time. So I hope you guys enjoy watching that and are learning something with it. Really couldn't ever put our finger on a pattern today, but the fish were shallow. Trying to unlock the secrets of the lake. Now y'all know what to do. It is the portion of the video where we have airplanes flying over, dadgummit. So it is that time for y'all to subscribe right now. 
I hope you do. Well, this channel is growing more and more every day and we are coming up on 500,000 subscribers. That sure is a lot of y'all out there. And if y'all are fishing freaks or you just want to tag along with all the family stuff, other things that are going on uh, in my life, go ahead and hit the ding dong button and you'll get the video notifications every time. If not, we'll see you every once in a while. We'll be like buddies that kind of call each other, you know, every few months and talk about the weather and stuff. That's not exactly cool, but whatever. Either way, thank you guys for being here and being awesome and giving me and Ocean Spoon Girl all the amazing support through this crazy last year. We are so close to having something whole again with a home and a family and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Excitement level is high for all that. So uh, anyway, fishing or not, life is good. Love you guys. See you on the next one.